What's up Helix users, this is Steve Sterlachi, and today is a very big day for us. Um, me and my wife, Jessica Lynn, the country artist that I also tour around the world with, and you guys have always seen my videos. Today we dropped our album, dropped, I hate saying the word dropped. Today our new album came out, the one that we've been working really hard on the last couple of years. It's currently charting on the iTunes charts, which is really exciting, so I wanted to throw this together quickly the same day to hopefully get a couple more of you guys to consider purchasing it and supporting us and helping us bump up that chart. If I've ever helped you with any tips or anything uh, with your Line 6 Helix, this would be a great opportunity to return that favor. But today what I wanted to do for you is show you a bunch of the presets that I used on the record. Every track that you hear on that album is all my Helix. It's either the Helix Direct, which is what we're going to be talking about today, um, or some form of my pedal board with the HX Stomp on it for effects going into an amp and load box. I think I only did that on a couple of tracks, but it's mostly all Helix, and we're gonna run through the presets that I used on the actual recordings. So for a bunch of these, I used my Placator Power preset, which is available on the Line 6 Marketplace. It's also a big reason why I don't post many presets for sale, because I use that one as my go-to for almost anything and everything, it's probably my favorite preset that I've ever made. And that's why I don't continuously push these things out because I don't know, I feel like if I use it and it's the best one for me, then I don't need to continue looking for stuff. You know what I'm saying? But all right, I've got the guitars that I've used and I'm gonna talk about some of the parts and the specific snapshots that I use for different parts of the songs. So let's dive right in. The first track on the record is called Now or Never. And for this, you can see here it says Placator Now Now VR. That I guess that meant Now or Never. I was on the fly probably just saving that quickly. And we are gonna go through some of the sounds here. So I'm gonna throw on my Bayer Dynamic. These are DT770 Pros. Um, I'll put links to this below if you guys wanna check out what I use to monitor myself with the Helix. All right, so the first track, Now or Never, starts off with a big G chord. And keep in mind that these are fine-tuned to fit in a mix and fit into a track. So it might not sound totally great on its own. Um, you can check out my Placator Power video if you wanna hear it isolated uh, the way that it comes stock. But these were somewhat edited on the fly during the session just to make it sit better in the track or dry up some reverb, stuff like that. So, opens up with a big chord. And then we go into this lead snapshot that I have up here. And that lead sound with the echo, that's a parallel effects thing that I do in this Placator Power preset. Um, you can check out my videos on that too. I have one called Epic Solo that uh, teaches you guys how to do this parallel uh, effects thing that gives it that really nice washy echoey solo lead sound. And while I'm on this guitar, take you to the solo. The guitar solo that I played on this was also with this guitar. This is my iconic um, vintage modern here. And I use the neck humbucker and play the solo. <laughs> So again, that same lead sound just into the solo section, but I'm using the neck humbucker in that one. And now I just switched over to my Les Paul and throughout the verses, you'll hear this guitar um, doing those power chords. So that's just my Les Paul, and this is a more crunchy snapshot on here, but you'll hear I dialed out all of the, um, all the reverb so that this can be fit into the track nicely. And also you'll notice that this is a stock cab preset. This is just the 412 greenbacks with two mics. I'll share this part. I mean, the preset is, it's for sale. If you wanna copy and paste these things and, and, uh, and steal that from me, go ahead, whatever. So that's my solid rhythm sound and that pretty much takes care of the entire first track, Now or Never. Let's move on to track number two, which is Getaway Car. So Getaway Car, for the most part, is, again, 
the Placator Power Preset um, with very minimal tweaking. Um, it's like a main riff that's just this low thing using the telly with the bridge pickup. <laughs> And then the verse parts again with that crunchy sound just and Then the other cool parts of this song come with this more ambient clean sound that I use in the second verse and in the bridge And this isn't on the stock Placator Power, but I'll just show you some of the uh, mod chorus echo there. And I have the searchlights uh, searchlights reverb on here that gives it that really nice washy sound. And that's really it, just reverb and delay on that one. And it gives you this really nice. And again, the solo on that track is same Placator Power lead sound. <laughs> I love playing with this lead sound. It's one of my favorite sounds to just go to and play with in the Helix. All right, let's go to the next track. Next song on the album is called One More Song, and this one's gonna change things up a little bit. I'm using my D'Angelico uh, 175 Deluxe, which is basically like a Gretsch killer. It's got filter trons. You don't see this in many videos, but it makes appearances sometimes. And this preset is called Double Marshall. This was actually supposed to be a two guitar preset that I made for uh, me and Jess to split uh, electric guitars on and on accident it wound up being guitar guitar so it combined both of the sounds and I got this really cool fat Marshall sound so it worked great for this song for this intro riff this goes like this gotta remember it sorry And this was the guitar I used for the intro. And then the rest of this was a combination of my Les Paul and my Telly. So this guitar actually wound up being one of my, as it's finicky and buzzing on me. This is one of my, <laughs> gonna unplug it. This became one of my favorite guitars to record with on this album. This is a Les Paul CM that I put a single P90 in. It's like a Les Paul, but really thin. Um, Gibson only made these for one year. And we're gonna see if the electronics wanna behave so that I can demo this. So I could demo this rhythm sound. So I use this on all of the rhythm guitars for this. This guitar makes a couple of appearances as a main rhythm guitar, especially for power chords like this. Then by the time we get to the solo, I have switched to uh, my 68 Tele. Same preset, same sound, nothing's really changed. where I get this really nice um, low twang for the first part of the solo. Switch to the neck pickup. And this was my main uh, guitar for the lead parts on that track. So this is Lone Rider. This actually started off as a preset that I posted for free called King Fullerton. So one of my older videos, if you go back in time, I made this while we were on tour um, from one of our hotels and um, it got like a ridiculous amount of downloads on Custom Tone. So this one's up there for free and um, readily available. I added the parallel path that I was talking about before 
for some cool ambient stuff. And this has a very specific tremolo on it with these settings. And this is like that cool Quentin Tarantino vibe where it's like an old Western type of thing. It's a minor key. And the main riff goes. And a lot of the parts are really cool. Just kind of that really interesting Western type of thing. A couple of the different fills. And I also use this for the solo, which goes. And then Bob takes the second half of the solo and um, we play it out. That song is all this guitar. Guitar I don't use much anymore, but I probably haven't touched it since the recording of this. It's one of my favorite tellies and it's still in, still in tune from however long ago. So this song is called Better Than That. And again, this is an older um, Jessica song that we kind of revisited. And I use this same preset for You Never Remind Me, I believe. But the fun part about this guitar is that it's got the B bender on it. So you'll hear a bunch of B bender parts on the record where it's just like a. Or other things where it's kind of just a. Bender is one of the coolest things ever and um, again a nice texture song where I am a strictly rhythm player just supporting the song. The next track is You Wouldn't Know which guests our good friend Stephen Marks from the UK on acoustic guitar and vocals and that one I am not playing on so there's no helix or electric guitar on that. Uh, the next one is Love Me That Way which was a song that I used my Vintage Nobles ODR1 that green D'Angelico as well as um, my vintage basement into my load box. So that one I can't cover the exact record tone. The next one is You Won't. So a cool little story about this song. This was actually a sound check riff that we were messing around with and Jess wound up writing into a song and liked it enough to put it on the record. This track is called You Won't and um, it goes a little bit like this. It's kind of a Stonesy type of vibe. <laughs> This one I kind of take a back seat on and let our buddy John Winton take over on sax along with Bob, our pedal steel player. But mainly it's that Keefe song, that Keefe style uh, playing and main guitar riff using this guitar in this preset. So just got news from Jez. We are currently, what'd you say? Top six. Top six in country and 40 what? 43. And 43 all genre. This is happening now live as I'm filming the video. So if you are seeing this on the day of release, please go consider purchasing it and try to push us back up and get us up there. So this next track is a vintage style thing. Um, this song's called You Never Remind Me. Very, very vintage 60s vibe. So I use my 68 Tele naturally. This one's probably one of my favorite, just nice, easy listening tones. This is Divided Duo with a Michael Britt multi... Um, IR. This is probably something that started off as a Michael Britt preset that I tweaked uh, to my taste using the Divided Duo in his cabinet. I've got this rotary drum dialed into a nice speed that is just like, it's just, it screams 60s to me. So with the telly, it's really nice. <laughs> Thank you. 
Just show you got a little simple slap back there. And I'm using a little bit of a room reverb. I just, I love this sound. Oh, I'm also pushing the front end with a team a very little bit, not very much drive. If you dig in, you'll get some, but it's not meant for that. And for the solo, I just hit this with a little bit more gain. Um, so this next song is called Love the Day Away, which was a older song of Jess's that we kind of revamped and uh, revisited. She wanted kind of like a John Mayer type of vibe for the recording. So I'm using that same preset just with a couple of other tweaks to it. Um, some slight different EQs, same slap back. I've actually got two delays. Got a slap back and then that analog with uh, modulation on it. And for this, uh, I think this, we actually recorded this like the day I got my stir. So I was really excited to use this. Um, I'm using the blended in middle pickup all the way up so that we can get that kind of clucky type of sound. And the main riff is kind of like this. And again, my main role in this was a rhythm player, just laid back, no solos or anything. I'm just trying to serve the song best I can, mainly with, with this type of sound, which worked out really nice. This next track is called Worth It. And again, we're gonna go back to this um, cleanish preset. And this was also with my Sir, I used the middle position. And once again, I'm just a rhythm player on this and it's just a main guitar riff, uh, like a funky type of thing. And that's really one where Bob, our pedal steel player, gets to shine. And again, I am just a lowly rhythm player trying to serve the song best I can. This next song is called Run To. And this was a single that Jess released a while ago um, that's on the record. A really, really good guitar song. If, you're, if you wanna hear um, a song that's more guitar heavy off this album, this is the one. Um, a lot of cool stuff going on here. We got some dimension chorus here. This is again, a version of Placator Power, just because it's it's my sound, I feel like, and anything that I'm featured on, this is what I want it to sound like. So um, it opens up with a bunch of arpeggios and different stuff that you'll hear the guitar cutting in and out on, but it's using the Les Paul and... Now, on the record, I played this in different octaves. Um, there's a lead into the choruses here, and if you listen to the record, you'll hear it, but this is kind of a crazy little sound that I use the simple pitch for um, to put an octave up just to uh, fatten this up. It's gonna be a weird sound on its own, but when I play this live, this is the actual snapshot that I use for this um, part of the song. <laughs> And then when I get to the solo, again, it's placator power, lead sound. Um, same exact stuff as before. I'm on the neck pickup with the Les Paul. And again, you get the nice echoey, crazy washy delay that just makes singing lead solos like that um, really stick out in my opinion. And finally, my favorite song from the record is called The Morning Always Comes. It's actually our current single. And this opens up with a really cool guitar riff. This again, ambient, really clean. I love clean lead sounds like this, but it's just the neck pickup on the Sur um, with just some delay and reverb. And you get that really nice washy sound. Um, just 
just really nice echoey parts. There's a bunch of palm muting, um, just regular crunchy rhythm chords on here where um, I'm using the middle position on the sur a lot on this. And um, it would just be basic parts like Just regular stuff like that that's filling up a lot of space. A lot of it was my basement um, through the load box for the rhythm parts of this. And then for the lead, again, it's a, this is, this whole preset's another version of Placator Power. That ambient intro stuff um, is just different variations of the pedals turned on and off. But uh, again, we're at Placator Power for the lead of this. And the solo on this is one of my favorite parts that I've probably ever written for anything. I actually came up with this while we were doing a lead track where I was just kind of noodling and trying to do call and answer with Jess's vocal. And if you listen to the record, you'll actually hear this figure over the outro where it's just like a... And at that point we hadn't put a solo on yet, but when I started playing that and improvising that, it was like, everybody was like, yes, that's gotta be the solo. So I put that part into the solo and that is how the solo opens up. All right, and that is the whole record, all the kind of like brief overview of parts that I played and the tones that I used on it. I keep kicking the table now, I'm shaking the camera, sorry about that. But um, I wanted to throw this together quickly, so if you guys enjoy any of this stuff um, or you wanna check out the record and buy it, help us move up the charts. We are currently climbing and I'd appreciate it if you guys could uh, support, check out on iTunes or uh, Amazon, whatever you guys buy your music on. Instead of streaming it, actually purchase it, and that is what helps us chart. Right now we are doing pretty good in the top 10, and we would love to get to that top five slot. So if you got anything out of this video, please consider that. And um, again, thank you guys for all the support, for always watching my Helix stuff. So hope you got something out of this. Ask any questions that you may have below, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.